Yo, what's going on? It's your boy G Mace. Showing you all this uh red display demo. So um take take a look, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you what's going on. Uh right now I have Logic Pro X running a loop by C dub. And I got my iPad over here. I already have it connected with the air display. So I just opened the mixer and I'm gonna slide it on over here to my iPad. Let's see, and there it is. Nice thing about the iPad is you can touch it. So I love being able to touch my controls and you can have it you know, available to you as long as you're on the same network, same Wi-Fi network that is. On a MacBook, you can actually create your own network. So if you have questions about that, just let me know. Um, as you can see, I'm adjusting the levels here. It's also adjusting on the MacBook. So, you know, that's pretty cool, pretty convenient. You can adjust, fade, shift the tracks, mute, solo, do all that good stuff. So, it's pretty cool. So, I'm going to just sit back and let you guys take a look and watch me navigate. Here we go. Another nice feature of using Air Display on your iPad is you retain a lot of the functionality of your actual physical Mac keyboard. Uh, you have the option, the control, and the you know shift, and all that kind of stuff. So if you need that, it's available for you. Um, so with the keyboard, of course, well, yeah, I just tried to touch my laptop screen. I did that. But anyway, in using Logic X, if you move forward in the track, you can, of course, press the Enter key on the iPad and it'll take you back to the beginning of the track like so and you see you can have the space bar available for you if you want to start and stop the track so it's pretty cool um, also I want to give a big shout out to my homeboy C-Dub um, website loopsbycdub.com he has over 300 loops right now and he's gotten me out of a whole lot of situations so check him out it's your boy G-Mace I'm out